it is 11.07 a.m. First step is take the meat out of the freezer. Well, first turn off the bedroom light. That's not part of the cooking mm. process. Wow, look at that. A whole four servings worth of ground beef, 80 20. That's where it's at. Just like stocks and bonds. When you invest, 80 20 stocks and bonds. I was looking for just a regular cereal bowl, but I guess they're all in the. Da -da -da -da! Look at that. Just a little mixing bowl. How about that? Set this right in here. TBD later tonight. Dun, we'll see dun, dun. Vegetable oil, don't mind if I diddly do. Vegetable oil. This is perfect for baking, frying, and sauteing. What do you need the oil for? Oh, well, I'm cooking. <laughs> so every so time it's non -stick. you cook, you have to... It's non-stick. Okay. Just a little bit. Grease the sides. See, look at that. Watch it go all the way around. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. What a treat. Are these all skills learned by your mother? Oh, no way. Or did you learn them on Chopped? Oh, definitely Chopped. Okay. Every single time somebody cooks anything, mm -hmm. they start with oil in the pan. But it's usually in one of those little pour bottles. Okay. Yep. Oh, scissors are in here. Ta-da! Slizzers. I should probably do this over the sink. Good idea, if I do say so myself. We only need about a pound, so I'm going to squeeze out that much. Wait. What? Oh, it's a pound? Okay, we need half a pound. <laughs> okay. Got it. Okay. Oh yeah, get the light on. That looks professional. I need this one, right? I don't know. You're cooking, not me. So, separate the meat? I'm not cooking. So now it's time to add some seasoning, but not too much. And I don't want to add what's already in here, see? So. I'm thinking, hey, while this is cooking, why don't we spice it up a little bit? So I'm gonna leave my thing this way, just because. <laughs> Go in here, get ye old spice rack. Uncle Susan. The whole thing. Yeah, we gotta get Uncle okay. Susan to play. All right. And let's see if what I want is even on here. <laughs> Garlic powder, I might need a little bit of that. Got some Italian crushed red pepper, ground cloves. Where's the chili flakes, homegirl? Well, I'm gonna do some crushed red pepper for sure. Just a little bit. And I'm gonna do a little bit of Italian, but just a little bit. See? Uh, that's good. I gotta eye it. Okay. Gotta look, gotta know. So we got the spicy with the crushed red pepper. Once this has been in there and warmed up, we'll have a taste test. We'll put some more if we need to. And then we'll add a couple scoops of sugar. Because sweet and spicy spaghetti sauce is the best. All right. I'm gonna leave this right off to the side. Come over here. Okay, that looks good. All right. What do you think about daddy's cooking? Yes Apparently or no? Like what do you think? Kids, if you're watching this and you never got to meet these dogs, just know that this is your mom and I's favorite dogs of all time. No yep. matter what we're saying about the current dogs we might have at this time, these are our two favorite Zeppelin and Skinner. They're the best. Look at him. He always but throws his butt at you. They yeah. can never die, so they'll still be around. Yeah, they're actually immortal. So. Yep. Especially this guy. Hi. Open that bad boy up. I'm going to pour about half of this thing in there. Whoa. <laughs> Can you see what happens? Yeah, I gotta take off the label. <laughs> All the greatest chefs know how to take off a label, see? <laughs> You're just taking her off. Undressing is what I like to call it, undressing her. Okay. Oh, I can even afford to put a little bit more. Start mixing this thing around town, bro. Wow, what a treat, wow. So basically what we do once we get this going, we just kind of spread it out, get it warmed up, and it's just gonna simmer. It's just gonna sit here, just what stay a word. warm. Yep, and it's not actually gonna need any assistance. It's just gonna be- Is this the piece de resistance? De assistance. 
do a little bit of that. Whoa! Yeah. See now, it's, now it'll be nice and simple. Okay, I'm gonna let it simmer. I'm gonna put the lid on it. Try to keep all the all the heat inside. All right. Now it's time for the noodles. That's a completely separate deal. This is the kind of pot you make your noodles in, right here. See it? Where do you buy that from? Uh, obviously the best Swedish place in the whole world. Yokia. See that right there, people? Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. We good? We rolling? All right, rolling. so what you do is you fill up your water just below the handle lines, okay? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to be hot water, but you might as well put hot water. So while that's getting hot, I'm gonna go ahead and crank this bad boy up down here. Quick boil. Boom! And I'm gonna leave it on high. You know why? Because this water needs to be hot, hot, hot. You know, about halfway it's probably good. Because when it starts boiling, it's gonna go way up. So, it's about good right there. Okay. Oh, and what is this I come over here and find? Oh, look. Salt. <laughs> it's just for show, guys. One more, there we go. This iodized salt here. And I'm gonna get this right to the edge. That's for non-stickiness on the noodles. So, now we play the waiting game. All right, a good rule of thumb, boys and girls, take a wooden spoon, place it across your pot. All right, so when the water starts boiling and it starts making bubbles, it'll hit these this spoon here and they'll pop. All right, so you won't have overflow. Okay, what piece of advice would you give our boys for when they cook for their wife one Ooh, day? Let her cook, that's my advice. Because okay. you guys will not be able to cook. I but what that. if they're in college and they are single and have nobody? Oh, hot have to pockets, cook for themselves. Uh, kid cuisine, ramen noodles, guys. You trust me. By then, you'll know. Grilled cheese, pop tarts. Oh, so none of this. No, no way. This is too complex. Tragedy has befallen the kitchen. Look. All I did was place it across the pot, and it started burning. On the so positive hot. note. It smells like marshmallows in here. <laughs> what do you have to say about the tip you just gave to all um, the viewers? The tip I just gave? And all our kids. Might have been a little bit s'more than they can handle. <laughs> Did it. So while you're waiting on everything else, it's going to start bubbling up a little bit. And if you don't mix it around, it's going to be uh, more cooked in some places than others. Might give you a little burn taste, but uh, can you smell that, hon? Huh? Doesn't it smell yeah, good? Yeah, it smells good. Yeah. You want to try some? So as far as this goes, I'm gonna leave that to mom because I have no freaking clue. I will serve it just like this. You can make it. Well, let me go ahead and warm up the oven to 350, 425. That's good, that's good. 425. You just gotta watch it. Yeah. So I'm going to, well then let's just do 400. Okay. Then we good. can do uh, like three minutes and then check it and then go another three minutes and check it every one minute after that. That's good. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's see, I'm gonna get a little Ziploc sandwich bag right here. No problem. Stick it right in there. Look at that. Boom. There we go, next to the ice cream. We're gonna have some of that too tonight. That's how your daddy got this belly right here. Ice cream and sex. That's it. I'll reach in here. I grab just a couple. That looks to be about 30. This would be for one person. See, this would be a good size serving okay. for a single person. So I'm gonna go ahead and let those in there nice and easy. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing over yonder. I get some more. This looks a little bit thin. I grab a little bit more. There we go. All right, here's some more. Throw this in. Okay, just a plate, just a regular plate. Don't need anything special. Alright, just a regular plate here. A paper plate? Yeah, a paper plate. <laughs> okay. You'll see why. So I'm gonna get the knife. Ta-da. Right here. Turn this puppy around. So I'm gonna stand it up. I'm gonna cut it right down the middle. <laughs> Alright, so I guess Claire can have this one. I can have that one. I'll probably cut it again. Look how I'll cut each thin one. that is. <laughs> I look at that. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Don't mess with me, bro. Alright? I gotta hurry up and do this. Okay, garlic. Garlic. In here. Okay. No spoon necessary. Alright? We're just gonna eye this bad boy. No, just kidding. I definitely. Chefs! 
You have 10 minutes remaining. And you just want to get enough for half of a little spoon, okay? That's all you need. Otherwise, it's too much garlic. This is going now in the microwave for 30 seconds. Good job. Hot. But I want to get this bread basted and in the oven before this is done because you got to strain before it. Before time runs out? Yes. Alexa, show me my timer. Here are your timers. Whoa, it's not going to happen, guys. <laughs> what are you presenting to the judges? <laughs> Nothing. Okay, this looks good. Let me get my tool. Here we go. This little thing right here. It looks like a hand. Let's come over here. Okay, basting time. Liberally baste these. Guys, you know I hate liberals, all right? <laughs> baste these. One, two on each one, okay? Scoop. One. Scoop. Two. That's it. Two scoops. Alexa, stop! Daddy's in the zone. Everything has gone crazy! Yeah, okay. All these are done. Booyah. Alright, quickly now. I need to check on my pasta before I put these in the oven. Because those can sit, this cannot. These look very, very good. Actually, I might be able to set them in there just until I put this in the oven. Okay, this is going to be pushing it right here. Pan. I don't know if that's the right one, but I'm going to use it anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. These are somewhat small, but they're going to be nice and easy. Italian before or after baking? You're supposed to put it before. Got it. Boom. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, boys. All right, watch it. What? Why are you rushing? Because those are done. <laughs> those are finished. Okay, those are finished. Oh. <laughs> Get these going. Wow, fancy. Nice and slobbery, slimy. Gross. Okay. Back in the pine they go. I think I was supposed to leave them in the strainer on top of this, but it's okay. We're gonna have soggy noodles. Great. Remove from the heat. Continue to stir it around a little bit. Open up. Examine the underside, <laughs> the underbelly. <laughs> wow, <laughs> what a treat. What, how would you describe that? Uh, freaking baking perfection. Y'all. You coming for lasagna house? Y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna apply for lasagna house to be their bread maker, okay? Thank you for this day. We thank you for this food, and we pray that you bless it and that it nourish our bodies. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. That's really good. Oh, look at all them noodles. Yummy, huh? So good. Good job.